Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill from Susan's in the Garden. Boy, did we get a bunch of snow last night and it is wet, heavy snow. So I've come out to check on my hoop house. Naturally, I don't want the weight of the snow to collapse the hoop house, so I am going to knock it off. But the other thing is that light is so important when it comes to growing greens through the winter months. You don't want anything blocking that light. So watch this, <laughs> this should be pretty good. Ooh. Well, it looks like a broom might be in order too. So come on inside and I'm gonna show you how things are growing so far. Well, you're probably expecting a glowing report from me this time around, but unfortunately I don't have such great news. For the last couple of weeks, we've experienced some bitterly cold temperatures with the temperatures hovering right around zero. And you know, I'm trying to grow everything in this hoop house without electricity. And when weather like that hits, there is nothing I can do about it. So if you look over here in my kale bed which formerly looked fabulous you can see the plants are looking very sad they're droopy just pathetic but some of the plants look pretty decent and so i have high hopes that if we have a little bit of a warm-up off and on that they will come back and i'll be able to start harvesting them again now if you look over in this other bed this was my big mistake I planted my seeds too late because I was waiting for the previous crop to finish growing. And the big lesson with growing vegetables through the winter is to make sure that you plant the seeds early enough so that the roots form really well before the weather gets particularly cold. So that was my mistake. I'm going to have better planting next year so that I don't repeat it. In the meantime, in my kitchen, I'm still growing microgreens, and that is really supplementing our diet with yummy, yummy young greens. So that's what I'm doing. Hope all is well with you. Take care.